Here's a harness ECM and intake for Ed. That's a 1992. A few of the little modifications we do for the fuel rail. We keep this front fuel rail that goes all the way across and then we make it so there's only the fuel in line and then on the other side off the regulator is the fuel return line so you only have the in and the return get rid of all the other fuel lines and then on the 92 90 through 94 actually the ECM plugs down here these normally exit the other side of the motor and this is going in a van again the van again the factory wiring comes out of the firewall on this side so you take the uh, the wiring off the intake and you got to extend some wires out here I haven't taped them up yet but uh, I'm just testing the harness but so we had to extend it out so now we get the plugs off the right side which it's either that or you have to extend about 60 wires to make up the difference so it's easier to extend those and then this is uh, the intake off of there he's going to take the intake harness and the ECM and we'll fire it up here the uh, <clears throat> this motor ran smooth I pulled it out of a car and then it sat for probably a year and a half the idle was going up and down the IACs very common in the Subaru the idle air control gets gummed up a little because it's sucking air through the intake tube which also sucks air from the valve cover so you got this goopy goopy slimy air coming in there and it kind of resins up uh, my carb cleaned it and seafoam treated it the idle seemed to smooth out but it seems like you got to run them keep them warm and run them for a while and clean them a few times to to keep that idle smooth but we'll fire it off here Harness ECM and intake.